difference. I, I think I, he I still would have ended up. And she says 17. Okay, and I call. It's not my fault. It's, she she made a mistake because I call 20 bigs, but I can't call 30 really? bigs. She could say it was three million. There'd be 30 million out there. You would still be held to no, the but, same. No, no, wait. But chips. 17. She miscounted. What you see, it's still your responsibility to understand. Doesn't matter. You can't talk your way out of it. Let's roll. You're calling 17. You're calling 22. All right. <laughs> My friends, a controversy has taken place at the World Series of Poker main event 2019. 11 players left $10 million for first place. It's such a controversy that I'm making a video at 11.30 p.m. on a Saturday night instead of going outside here in Vegas getting out of line. So you know that people are fired up about this. People on Twitter are in an uproar. They're calling for Jack Ethel's head. They're calling, get rid of this guy. They're done. You'll see the comments out there. I mean, they're kind of saying that, yeah. All right, so first we're going to take a look at what took place with the hand. I'm going to comment on that. We're going to take a look at uh, Dario coming over to get into a bait back and forth with the floor. Then I'm going to show you what Jack says to Dario, which is a little bit later in the video. And then I'm going to show you comments made by other poker players out there. Their feedback, clean Dan Smith, Justin Bonomo, Libbury, Matt Savage, Alex Livingstone is at the table and more. Check it out. All right, so Dario is going to open up six-handed here. Opens up pocket tens and uh, another guy plus one. Marchington's going to shove... All in from the small blind, pocket queens for, and the dealer is going to count it out and say it's about 17 million, which would be about 21.25 big blinds. In actuality, marching in has 22 million. So what's going to happen is marching goes all in, dealer counts it one time, no one else chimes in. There's no floor behind to double check and verify that that's the actual number. Dario thinks about it, says something, puts the chips in, doesn't announce call, puts the chips in. And uh, then other people at the table are saying, oh no, it's actually 22. Then uh, Dario is kind of sits there, is taking it in, whatever. Dealer recounts it. Okay, oh yeah, it's actually 22. Floor's going to come over there. They're going to check things out. And they're going to say, all right, this has to be a call. An action took place. And then once the cards are exposed, Dario is going to go on the Italian stallion style. And he's going to flip out. He's say, this is preposterous. You guys take a look. San Martino. Made it a million seven. All in. Raising all in. Count, but I think I have to call. Ask for a count. About 28 big ones or so. 22. Just knowing that Marchington has the ability to get out of the line would be enough for me to make 17 this call. 17-2. 17 2. 17 2. Mm. Call. We have a we different number. That. We've got a different number. 10, 15, oh. 17. No, that's no, that's no. the this stack of 10. It's like 22, 20. I would call it. Did Dario say call? Yes. Yes. Right? That's 10,000. Now, that's, so that's, that's interesting. That's, that's, sorry. 20 million. 22, 22 2. I don't think the hands the have been exposed yeah, yet, yeah. but they need the floor. The Brian, I miscounted the stack and announced the wrong amount. He asked for a count, and I announced the wrong amount by five million. The dealer, the dealer announced it was 17-2, but it was really 22-2, which I pointed out. Okay. Now the floors have been called over. Well, call. Dario called the 17. He we put in the stack of chips. It will be, it will be a call. It will be a call. Yes. Showdown. All right. So right there, take a look at that. This is what people point up on Twitter. They say, all right, it's going to be a call. Dario shakes his head like, ah, fuck, all right. It's going to be a call. Then the hands get exposed. And watch. Okay. Well, Dario with tens. Did that make a difference? I, I think I, he I still would have ended up calling. And she calling. say 17. Okay, and I call. But if she said the right things, probably I don't know if I call. Very unfortunate. I, I put the chips right like this Good because test. she said 17. But He's she, she up was wrong. Against tens. Well, shouldn't jinx you, but it's 8 7 4. It's, it's not fair. It's not my fault. Eh? There's no left fault here. Yeah, but it's, it's not my fault. It's, she she made a mistake. All right, so now Dario's saying it's not my fault. She made a mistake, and that's very true. Mistakes do happen. It's unfortunate it happened on a scale like this. 11 left in the main event, 10 million up top. I mean, pretty crazy, but mistakes are going to happen. The dealer makes a mistake. That does happen there. I think the big takeaway here for people out there is just in situations like this, very important situations, 
even if the dealer does count out the opponent's chips, you still want to eye it, make sure, maybe get a double, maybe get a triple count if you aren't sure. I think that's one of the biggest takeaways here. And, and I've seen situations like this happen in cash game where they think it's something else. Dealer says something and then the player ends up not being correct. And what can you do in that situation once you already put your chips in and you do call? You can't do much. So as a player, all you can do to really ensure yourself in this future situation, try to avoid this is just ask for a double count, ask for a triple count. Make sure you check it over yourself because things like this do happen. Mistakes like this do happen. And I guess then you say, all right, is Dario out of line here? I don't think Dario's out of line. I think that he thinks it was a mistake. And at this point in time, with this amount of money on the line, you know, he's going to say what, he, what he's trying to say to, to get a different ruling here. And I, I don't know, I'm, I'm imagining he's trying to get a ruling where the action doesn't stand and he can fold. But uh, I, I don't think that's ever going to happen. So kind of take a look here and, and listen to what happens. I, I agree with him. I, I mean, Come on. Yeah. But how is possible? It's no sense. Because I call 20 bigs, but I can't call 30 bigs. Of course. I have, of course, I have to think uh, probably I can fold this end. I don't know if I fold. I want to I wanna be honest. De okay. Dealing, sometimes dealing I fold, sometimes I call. But oh, this is not fair, guys. This is not my fault, for sure. Did they rule it is an all-in in a call now? I've yes. I've heard this okay. be ruled this way before, too. Is it a player's responsibility spot. to kind of know what, what the stacks say. are? Yeah, it's so unfortunate for the dealer. I feel the yeah. worst for her. Um, it was an honest mistake, but I have heard it ruled this exact way before. And it is unfair to San Martino, but I believe this is a black and white ruling. All right, so more discussion about the moment now. The hands are revealed. I asked the count. Okay, I asked her, and she said 17. She said what? She said 17. So it's six really million less. Right? It's less. Really it's five million less. It's really 22. Okay, and I call, but with 17, okay. not 23. But, but the chips were out here, correct? The chips? Yes. Yeah, the chips were out of here. Yes. Yeah, but and, I, I... And, you're, and you're seeing the chips out here, and you stay call, correct? But he just put I... In. He didn't say call, he just... He put this in. He didn't say call, he just put that stack in. I, 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 I ask, I said, how much is... She said 17, okay. What is that amount? My, my victory is so that I've been three states out of the What is this? That's that. He put in an additional 14. He knowledge chips heads up with that, in the pocket, with that event, visual in, with that visual in play. It's accepted action. That's what we but if I have a problem with my eyes and I have a problem, okay, I mean, we're, well, we're welcome to it's not, it's it's not my fault. I understand, but it's still, it's still, a, it's still a game of observation. The chips are out there. Heads up, you you acknowledge a call. No. I mean, no. I'm more than welcome to get Jack down here for you. Not a problem. I call him. I, you guys rolled a separate action. We both. He rolled it. I came behind. I rolled it. Yeah, you're rolling it also. Right? All three of them. They're calling Jack. It is very unfortunate for San Martino, uh, and we thought we heard him say call. He did. He, he said call, but he, okay, so he was agreeing to call. Which is different from what he was saying. He, he put he, the chips and he said call, but right. he was agreeing to call 17 Right, planes. exactly. And I've heard it ruled this way before, that when there's dealer error, that this is how it's ruled, that you called, you said call, it's unfortunate. It's just as likely to happen against the other players, so they just rule it as it's call. This is a gross spot, though. I don't know if he would have called the tens. He's being honest and says, I don't know. I might have called, I might not have. Meanwhile, Marchington and the rest of this table waits. Jack Effel, who is World Series Poker Vice President, what do you think? has been called. Yeah, I think this ruling is going to hold up. And it is quite unfortunate. 
And I don't know if yeah, he's going to call 22 they, or not either. They, but they don't give me a time. If she says it's 17, <laughs> because I say 20, let's say it was 100. I don't say that call. Yeah, I, I still think it's his responsibility. Right? If I say, if she say 22 and they say that call, huh? okay, yeah, it's right. But when she say no, it's wrong. It's wrong. She say, okay, I don't say it's I call. Accepted action. They're going with it. It's an and they start to book the flop. I'm not sure the distinction between saying call and putting your chips forward as a call. I don't know if that changes anything, but he's saying he did not say call. We'll get to see if that's before I correct it. Before, yeah. When, when you correct, uh, she said, uh, okay, uh, no, it's not uh, 617. It's 20, 22, 23. It's Dennis Jones. He went all in. I put that before. I started before breaking before. it down. Of course. I counted the yeah. 1 million to 500,000. So I said 17, too. Okay. He stuck out the chips. Or he... And then he, this player no, said, I, say, I think that's wrong. I say, what, so I which, broke it down. What's the count? Then, but he had already stopped. Probably the I have to call. But because I, I thought it was 20. I don't know bigs. what the recourse okay. is. I call least on 20. How would you reverse bigs. everything but now with the cards up? Bigs, uh, there is no sure recourse. For sure I can fold. For sure I can fold, guys. It's, it's something crazy. And also, they don't give me the time before put the. They put the. She put. No, but she already ring because it was 17. She said 17. I said okay. And she said and he said no, but uh, it's not 17. So, see, it's 23. Good morning, well. Just stop the clock and hold that up for a second. We are. Yeah, we have three of the floor staff here, the dealer, and apparently Jack Effel has been called as well. So we do have an opportunity to go back and with full sound, take a look exactly how this all played out just a moment ago. Call. I think it's more than that. It's 10, 15, 17. No, that's no, that's no, the stack of 10. Like 22, 2. So nothing from Daria right there. He might have said something sense. just before that. We're going to see if we can roll that back a little you, bit. Why you don't wait? Yeah, that video side. showed nothing being After said. He just the put the chips in. Before put the flop. Give us the time for understand how we can do this situation, this bad situation. 11 left in the World Series of Poker. This is definitely a gross situation. I wish there was some way that tournament directors have discretion to say we'll hold you to 17 million that's what you thought you were calling uh, the I, opponent doesn't even care you know i think i'm looking at the rule right now and they probably they could do that but let me just read you something real quickly from the world series poker rules accepted action poker is a game of alert continuous observation it is the caller's responsibility to determine the correct amount of an opponent's bet before calling, regardless of what is stated by the dealer or participants. If a caller requests a count but receives incorrect information from the dealer or participants that places that amount in the pot, the caller is assumed to accept the full correct action and is subject, subject to the correct wager or all-in amount. Pretty clear. Now, yeah, so, I mean, that's what Dennis said. It's yeah. a game of observation. You saw the chips out in front. You saw. So about like eight, eight minutes seem to go by here. And finally they get Jack. I don't know if Jack's in a back room. I don't know if he's watching. Maybe he's at our table. But they finally get Jack out of wherever he is. And I got to be honest with you guys. Jack does not seem very happy to have to deal with this bullshit again. It looks like he's argued with one too many poker players this summer. It looks like he cannot be bothered to deal with this fucking bullshit. He comes in. He says, simple ruling. This is simple. He looks like he's aggravated that they even dared Go get Jack. They said a couple times, we'll get Jack. We'll get Jack if you need him. You know what? I think this is a big situation. 11 left main event, vice president, World Series of Poker. Let's bring over our guy, Jack. Let's bring over a guy who's going to be able to make a concrete rule and get this situation figured out, get play back underway. Jack comes over, survey situation, looks around here. He, he seemed like fired up. He seemed real. He seemed like he's ready to get after it, man. All right, simple ruling. This is what it is. Don't fucking argue with me. I'm Jack. I'm Jack. You ain't arguing with shit. You ain't going to win this one, baby. You ain't going to win this one. Take a look. I mean, maybe am I exaggerating? I don't think I am. I don't know. Take a look at my man, Jack. My man, Jack, came in there fast and furious, man. Jack Apple is on site. Of course, he continued to play at the other table. He says call. No, I put the chips inside. 17. 
be shown. Okay. He asked for a count. Mm -hmm. I miscounted and said 17.2. He moved this stack of chips forward. Mm -hmm. And he said, he no, said no, it's, it's not 17. Count. It's 22. Okay. It's 22 something. It doesn't it's matter. It's accepted, ac it's accepted action with the chips. Regardless of what the dealer says, the action is going to stand, and you're going to have to call the bet. That's an accepted action. The hands are out, the chips are in play, the action is going to stand as it is. It's an accepted action. It's very clear in the rules. Jack gives him the, gives him the head nod. That's it. That's what it is. I love, I love this guy. <laughs> There's no change in this decision. This is a very simple decision. So we're going to make the bet right uh, for what the so, bet needs to be. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> now Dario's like, let me gather my thoughts. Let me try to be composed here. Let me not flip out on this fucking guy. She could say it was three million. 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 There'd be thirty million out there. You would still be held to no, the but, same. No, no, wait. But chips. seventeen and twenty-two doesn't matter. Eh? Doesn't matter. It's, it's accepted action. And we, 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 listen to me. We have a rule in the World Series of Poker. It's called accepted action. You're accepting the action that's in front of you, regardless of what the amount is, regardless of what she said. Even though she miscounted, what you see, it's still your responsibility I... to understand. Doesn't matter. You can't talk your way out of it. The call is going to be for the amount, which. The call I don't know what Jack's doing. He says you amount. can't talk your way out of this one. He does the John Cena. You can't see me sort of look on his face. It's like you're not going to talk your way out of this one. I don't know. What do you guys think about this guy's attitude, man? Check this out. He says you can't talk your way out of this one. And now he's going to say you call 17, you call 17, you call 22. And people are really outraged about this on Twitter because they seem to think that Jack's giving him a needle. He says if you call 17, you would call 22. I think what people seem to think he's implying is that if you're going to call 17 million, then you're going to call 22 million with your hand. It doesn't necessarily change, sort of making some sort of light on, on, a, on a strategic element of poker. But also some people out there, my boy David Williams out there on Twitter says what it sounds like he's saying is that you call 17, you call 22, implying that you put the chips out there for calling 17. In this situation, you have to call 22. So I think we can interpret this from sort of both sides. I'm going to show you something from Alex Livingston who was at the table after we run the clip through. He seems to think it was very out of line. It was a needle. And many other people out there on Twitter seem to think so too. Check it out. What do you guys think? There's going to be 22 million? 22-2. 22, 22, two. Two. That's going to be the it's call. It's not fair for sure. This is not fair. That's it. That's it. This is not fair for sure. Let's roll. <laughs> Let's roll. I love it. I kind of like the guy. I don't know, man. I'm telling you. I'm sorry. Comes in there. He's had enough of this shit. It's been a long summer. This is not fair. That's it. That's it. This is not fair for sure. Let's roll. You're calling 17. You're calling 22. What? All right. So, <laughs> <laughs> not true. Well, he really said this? Yeah, he just said this. He said this? I call 17. I call 22. Yeah, that's right. Oh my God, guys. Oh my God. Oh my God. So, so this, is, this is kind of fucking crazy, right? So we got the vice president of World Series Poker walks over. Now he walks away. It sounds like he makes that comment. I'm told he made that comment walking away. You know, I, I don't know how, I, I can't really uh, understand the, the context of his comment that he makes. Obviously the players are upset here. I mean, uh, embarrassing? I don't know, a little embarrassing, man. Biggest stage, ESPN. 11 players left, the guy comes over, he treats it kind of like it's a, it's a 315 or, or $125 daily deep stack, comes over, really no apology, like mistakes happen, like, hey, I'm sorry this happened, this sucks, I'm sorry, I understand, but this is the rule, all right, I, I can't, they've been saying the thing, action, I never heard this term they've been using a lot before, but they're saying action accepted, all right, you accepted the action, all right. I don't think it's out of line to, to come up, be, to suggest that maybe you come over and handle a little bit of empathy, $10 million up front. I know it's been a long summer. I know you're, you may be tired. I know you've had enough of this fucking bullshit with the guys, but biggest stage in poker, $10 million up top, ESPN. Maybe we come over to show a little empathy for the players in this situation. Obviously, he's upset. Obviously, this has been drawn out. This has been a 12-minute incident that took place. In your mind, you think it's a very simple ruling, but just you can handle a little bit more. I, I, I can't imagine just me being in that position saying like, all right, listen, listen no, no. This is what this is what it is. This is what it is. You know, I, I just can't. I don't know, you know, and, and I think out there, if you see the reaction from other people that I've talked to privately and, I, and I've commented publicly, they seem to agree that this is something that happens with Jack or this is an attitude he has. I personally have no experience with this, but other poker players out there seem to have a lot of experience. This is a situation and 
I guess it kind of just sucks to see. You know, I, I don't know the specifics of how he how he approaches things, how he thinks about things. I never talked to him before. Love to have him on a podcast to discuss this and discuss many other things that I think a lot of us have questions about. Just have a general conversation with him in general because I'm very interested to get to know him more as a person. But, uh, you know, kind of finish this clip up here. We'll wrap up some thoughts. I'll show you what some people out there said on Twitter, and we'll go from there. Because I understand the ruling, action. we don't like his needle at the end. Where he says, oh, if he's calling 17, he was yeah, calling he 22. Like talking That's straight. inappropriate. But the is... And I know that Jack's at the top, but that was an inappropriate needle to a guy who's in a very... But everybody knows 20 bigs and 27 bigs change everything. A completely different spot. Completely different. Yeah. Put out the turn. By the way, Nick Marchington's Forms credit, he agreed with Dario, even though he stands to benefit from this. But the rule is There's fairly clear. I don't think it's fair. And we'll go over it again a little later. Can we please just run out of five on this river, five please? Five would be a fair result. I'm just going to say that. That would be nice. So the dealer can sleep at night and that Dario doesn't have to lose his chips in this stupid way? <sighs> All right, so hand takes place, board runs out, pocket tens, lose the pocket queens. And, uh, you know, kind of what do we think here, right? Was the ruling incorrect? Who did, Was something wrong here? Did somebody do something incorrect? Well... Right, I guess the dealer in theory counts the write-out chip. She makes a mistake and then it compounds from there. So do we think anybody really made a big mistake here? I don't think so. Did Dario make any mistakes here? I don't think so. He's trying to plead his case. He sees the plea. And kind of, you know, some people on Twitter, you know, Dan Smith, he says, if you're going to object to the miscount, you have to do it before the cards are table. Justin Bonimo says 100% agree. The floor made the ruling. Eight seconds went by. Yes, I replayed it during which Dario nodded his head in agreement with the ruling. The cards were then tabled. Only after that did he object. So if we can agree that this is true, that he didn't object before it took place, and then he started to object afterwards, well, what are we implying about Dario in that situation then? So that is what some people are implying. I am personally not implying that anything is out of line in this situation, but you kind of look at what took place, and I mean, the cards then turn over, he agrees, and then it's, the outburst happens. So you guys can kind of make your own decision from that. So Liv Bore chimed in after I posted a clip about the, uh, if you're calling 17, you're calling 22. Liv Bore says, what the fuck? I can't believe he said that. His dealer made an enormous error, but okay, shit happens and the ruling stands. But to then make such an inflammatory, subjective, and false claim instead of just apologizing for the error is horrific. Kudos to Darrow for handling it so well. And David Williams said, I don't interpret it like that. I take it as him saying, you called 17. So you have to call 22 because it's accepted action. That's from knowing Jack over 15 years. Never heard him mention what could be conceived as strategy talk. Also want to read something from Alex Livingston, who was at this table when this take place was a voice of reason. I thought he handled himself very well. And I thought he was an added value to this situation. And if I'm ever in a situation, I'd love to have Alex around. He says a couple of things to say about the 10, 10 queen, queen hand. She was a great dealer, and I feel badly that she that she happened to make a mistake in such a big moment. I thought Nick handled the situation as well as possible and was a class act, referring to Nick Marchington, who won the hand in this situation, who I thought did handle himself quite well. Anyone suggesting Dario was angling anyway is completely out of line. This is a huge moment, and given the way people play ranges in these spots, it's definitely possible he would have folded 10-10. I'd say he likely calls, but he definitely thinks about it, and it's not a snap. The floors up until Jack handled the situation reasonably well, but the clock should have been paused. I always think they could show a little more empathy in these spots, but they are objective arbiters and IMO. They made the right ruling, even though it's unfortunate for Dario. He says Jack was completely out of line in his comments. If you're calling 17, you're calling 22. He didn't say if, but I understand what Alex is saying as he walked away. I believe he owes Dario an apology. I think a lot of people out there also agree that they would like an apology from Jack to Dario in this situation for the way he went upon things. He, he says Dario is a class act and I feel badly if this happened, but dealer error is part of the game. And like I say, she's a great dealer. I wish I spotted the discrepancy a little sooner. So there you guys have it, guys. A lot of other comments out there on Twitter. A lot of other things and replies out there. Matt Savage on Twitter said, mistakes are going to happen on hour 13 of day seven of week six by dealer staffs and players. Very, very true. They've been, this has been a long series, a long time. Obviously, people have been working very hard. They're fatigued. They're not always in the proper mindset. It's very late at night when this takes place, so I can understand that. That being said, it is the correct ruling, and I also understand the confusion and controversy. Always remember that we he would have collected $22 million as also had he won the pot. Preaching facts there, Matt. That's true. Richard Herbert says, as a former TD, this is completely out of line and completely unacceptable. It's a dick statement at a very unfortunate time when a very unfortunate mistake was made. If I ever made such a statement... 
and my previous boss has heard that, I wouldn't expect to be working the next day. Damn. Even if you believe this internally, 17 calling 22, then by saying it, you lose your credibility as well as showing complete lack of professionalism, both of which are essential in a person in this position. Aye, aye, aye. So once again, he has the uh, he has the interpretation that he was basically implying that if you call 17, you're calling 22 with that hand. Once again, I think that's for debate. I personally don't see it that way, but we have people at the table who did see it that way. We have other people on Twitter who see it that way. So what, which way or the other, I'm not sure. We're not going to know unless we do talk to Jack. So give me your thoughts, guys. What do you think about this situation? What do you think about what went down? People love the controversy, man. I don't want to be making a video. It's Saturday night. It's midnight. I'm trying to go out, get out of line in Vegas. But people are, are it's kind of fascinating to me, man. It's fascinating because what happens? Like, what, 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 so the hand happens, like, what do we take away, right? We want people fired? Like, what, what do we want to do here? We want to, we want to better educate people to handle themselves in a more acceptable manner in, in some people's opinions. Like, what, what do we ultimately learn from here? I think just that big takeaway is that you want to really pay attention to how many chips your opponent has. I think that's number one. Number two is that, um, you know, I don't, I mean, the floor, like, listen, I see that, like, 11 left in the main event to say you come over. <laughs> I mean, come on, man, 11, 10 million up front, buddy. I don't know. It is what it is. We're not fucking perfect. All right. Mistakes happen. Things happen. We, we all say some things that we regret sometimes. And unfortunately, uh, this happens on ESPN. A lot of us, our mistakes are behind closed door with two people. So we don't have to actually deal with the repercussions. And you could say that, well, Jack's in a high level position. He signs up to deal with these repercussions and he signs up to handle himself in a proper way that respects the players and respects the game and respects everything going around here. And maybe in this situation, that was the, the, the respect shown was actually not there and it was disrespect being shown to the players and to the actual situation and to the gravity of the moment that took place. So give me your opinions. Let me know what you guys think. I know y'all love to chime in. Much love. Peace out. Take care. That's it.